What up guys, Jonathan here with TLD. Got a comparison review of the 11 and 13 inch Core i5 2011 MacBook Airs. They're very similar in price as well as specs and a lot of you guys aren't sure which to pick up. So hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to make your buying decision a little bit easier. The 11 inch MacBook Air closest in price and specs to the 13 inch MacBook Air is gonna come in at 1199. You're gonna get a Core i5 1.6 gigahertz dual core CPU, four gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of solid state flash storage. Now for hundred bucks more aside from the obvious size, difference which I'll get to in a minute. The 13 inch MacBook Air comes with a slightly faster 1.7 gigahertz Core i5 dual core CPU, the same 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of solid state flash storage, but you get an SD card slot on a 13 inch whereas you don't get that on the 11 inch MacBook Air. Now they both feature the same backlit keyboard, the same Intel HD 3000 graphics, two USB 2.0 ports, and they both have the high speed Thunderbolt port. As far as the dimensions go, the 11 inch MacBook Air is going to size in at 11.8 inches wide, 7.56 inches deep. Deep. Compare that to the 13 inch MacBook Air, which is going to size in at 12.8 inches wide and 8.54 inches deep. The 11 inch MacBook Air comes in weighing a minuscule 2.38 pounds, whereas the 13 inch comes in tipping the scale at nearly 3 pounds at 2.96 pounds. Now, as far as the difference in the screen size, the 11 inch MacBook Air features a resolution of 1366 by 768, and the 13 inch MacBook Air features a resolution of 1440 by 900. So they're actually both high res, and the 13 inch MacBook Air actually features the native resolution of a 15 inch MacBook Pro. So, food for thought. In terms of how much that matters, here's an example of Apple's homepage open in Safari so you can see exactly how much extra screen real estate you get, and here is Final Cut Pro 10. And that leads me to my next question a lot of you guys are curious is can these MacBook Airs even handle apps like Final Cut Pro 10? And if I told you guys yes, most of you guys would probably laugh in my <laughs> No, really, they actually can handle apps like Final Cut Pro 10. That is because of Intel's hyper-threading. Now, on paper, they're actually both dual-core CPUs, but because of Intel's hyper-threading, the OS will actually see and utilize all four threads almost like a quad-core computer. So you guys that are hating on the MacBook Airs, you guys need to stop it. Looking a little closer at the CPU specs, the 13-inch MacBook Air actually pulls away a little bit in this category. And that is because of Intel's Turbo Boost. The 1.6 gigahertz Core i5 CPU on the 11-inch will turbo up to 2.3 gigahertz, and the 1.7 gigahertz Core i5 on the 13-inch MacBook Air will actually go all the way up to 2.7 gigahertz in certain applications. Now, the next thing you guys are going to ask me is how much difference does that make as far as benchmarks, but you guys know I got you guys covered on that. And in Final Cut Pro 10 for a 1 minute 10 1080p H.264 export. The 11 inch MacBook Air pumped that out in 2 minutes and 46 seconds. The 13 inch MacBook Air was faster at 2 minutes and 7 seconds. For iMovie 11, I took a 1 minute 1080p clip, converted that to 720p on H.264 export. The 11 inch MacBook Air did that in 7 minutes and 52 seconds, whereas the 13 inch MacBook Air pumped that out in 5 minutes and 1 second. Jumping onto the 64 bit version of Handbrake, what I did was I took a 10 minute MP4 file and encoded that to an Apple TV 2 preset. On the 11 inch MacBook Air, the total encode time was 14 minutes and 1 second, and I got an average of about 17.05 frames per second. Now on the 13 inch MacBook Air, the total encode time dropped to 12 minutes and 12 seconds, with an average of 19.71 frames per second. Moving on to Cinebench 11.5 on the OpenGL portion, I got 9.27 frames per second on the 11 inch MacBook Air and 11.13 frames per second on the 13 inch MacBook Air. Now on the CPU portion, the 11 inch MacBook Air scored a 1.85, whereas the 13 inch MacBook Air scored 2.09. For the Photoshop speed test I used, the 11 inch MacBook Air did the deed in 72.2 seconds and the 13 inch MacBook Air did the same job in 68.7 seconds. And lastly on Geekbench 64 I got a benchmark of 5,028 on the 11 inch MacBook Air and a score of 5,868 on the 13 inch MacBook Air. So hope you guys enjoy this comparison and review ultimately the 13 inch MacBook Air was right for me. Hopefully it's going to help you guys decide. One more thing to keep in mind is the 11 inch MacBook Air has a 35 watt battery which is going to lead to 5 hours of battery life and the 13 inch MacBook Air has a 50 watt battery so that's going to give you about 7 hours of battery life. So again if you guys have any questions leave me a comment down below or follow me on Twitter at TLD today. I like interacting with you guys so if you guys want to send me an at reply. I want to give a huge shout out to Lamar who is known as Wilson Tech one here on YouTube for doing a little guest spot on my video. He's actually one of my favorite YouTubers so go check him out on the link right here. Tell him John sent you and I'll <laughs> Ha 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 ha!